Hi, it's Vanessa Love. Uh, I just had a really funny experience, and now I'm like, oh gosh darn it. Okay, um, I, the the um, what is that called? The the tape um, continued to uh, go on while I was uh, getting a, a scam call, and so I was not nice to them. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. All right, well, I thought that I turned the camera off and I didn't, and it, it uh, picked up that very, very gentle conversation I was having with a scam artist. Anyway, um, all right, had to restart the video, obviously. Um, so, um, I'm super excited because I got this information from one of the women who's in my, like, this class that I take at the gym, and it's for this a uh, woman who this classmate had worked with and she worked with um, Edith Kramer and it's it's just um, I'm Edith Kramer is one of the founding mothers of art therapy and I just like I'm super stoked about this information and uh, like connecting to other art therapists is wonderful usually um, even though we are very diverse and we don't um, we don't always get along, and I also found out that one of my supervisors had also worked under Edith Kramer, um, and uh, like I didn't get along with that supervisor um, because that supervisor was very tough and mean. Um, it was one of those situations where it's like, do what you gotta do and get the fuck out. Um, and then the person who took over that program after. Um, after uh, the the other supervisor had left, her and I especially don't get along. And um, it's really funny because when I was in, in school, you know, like I really tried to, like, oh my gosh, they were always telling me to act. Uh, they're like, you, you can't be, you know, like when you have a bad day, you can't like show that to your clients because they'll pick up on that. And then, you know, it's, it's not great for them. It's okay, but you know, I'm gonna have bad days. Um, and uh, so, one of the things that I was trying to do was like have a little nicer tone. Well, um, when I did that, um, this particular supervisor who now runs this program, she was like, it sounds like you're being very condescending to, um, to, to like the, the people who you're working with. And I was like, hmm. But at the same time, um, I know she has been condescending to me, uh, especially, um, around the controversy around the coloring books um because i said that they are definitely a part of art therapy like we should have them in our offices i'd rather have a client who is full fully aware and willing to do um the art like like doing um you know a coloring page in in during session compared to a resistant person who's like drawing stick figures for a minute and like you know basically with their actions telling me to fuck off you know like so much would just rather have something available and uh you know have that person color well um this has caused controversy in the art therapy field because that's uh not acceptable it's not appropriate and um you know they they were not very nice to me about having that opinion um and i i mean we all have our own opinions about how art therapy works and um mine is about the inner expression so you know like if i'm giving someone a mandala handout and they're coloring it in well i can definitely look at you know is the overall picture you know have a have a nice tone or does it have a chaotic tone i mean i would fully expect a chaotic tone because they're in therapy you know like usually people aren't coming in going everything's great people are coming in going oh my god i ugh, this week or you know this person's trying to get a hold of me and i don't like them or oh my god i had to you know i didn't prepare fully prepare before i went up to the counter so i i stammered and I felt like a fucking idiot and everyone knows I'm a dumbass. You know, those are the type of things that my clients are coming in for, you know? So it's um, like, I, I can still read into things, you know? And as I said, expression of your inner self. Um, but people, uh, other art therapists get very, very strict about, the, about what the definition of art therapy is. Um, you know, they'll say, well, it's a 
um, artwork that you make from material from art materials you know um, and that is like individually your own blah 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 and um, you know I, I'm like for me I have books in my office that people can use to uh, for for altered books excuse me there I go um, for altered books altered books maybe using a page to convey a message that may be convey like conveying something and um you know like that's not always entirely um made like f you know like made only from that person and they're using uh something that's already pre-made in order to express themselves so you know like I, I, I think that it can definitely get down to a nitty gritty and it's not, it, it can be very, very um, difficult to um, really understand the breadth of what art therapy is, you know, um, and some art therapists use computers and, and have, have used computers and tablets and, you know, all sorts of things to um, engage their clients, especially, you know, let's say that someone's working at, you know, a, a hospital with children, um, cause everyone always asks, oh, so you work with children? No, I don't, but you know, I do and I don't, uh, um, but I think it's because like we view, um, art and expression and, um, like art materials as something for the younger crowd, but you know, I've, I've had someone who is like in his sixties, like doing artwork with me. So, you know, this is not, um, only for kids, but let's say that there is a therapist who's working with, you know, terminally ill kids and they can't have, um, dust, uh, you know, and, and, uh, or anything that, um, might have like a smell that might, you know, trigger some of the kids and their symptoms because they, you know, their immune systems are very, very fragile. Uh, so having a tablet in there and, you know, playing around and having, you know, I mean, over the years, therapists have used, um, gosh, it, like pixel something or other. It, there was like a program where you could like just, you know, take various things, stamps, and to like put them all over the place. You know, like, and so there are some art therapists who would say, absolutely not. That's not expression. That's definitely not, you know, a, an expression of who they are and what they're experiencing. And I'm just like, all right, well, then it's working on skills. I, you know what, like, we don't have, like, if that person who's doing that art piece of artwork with that client, um, is trained as an art therapist and feels that what they're doing is art therapy and enriching that client's life, then where are we to stand and say, mm, no, that's not because um, you used a program that already had pictures in it. And that's not an, ex an honest, true, deeply expressive thing coming from the heart. Okay. We all have to do what we have to do in order to like, you know, accommodate our clients and to you know, teach them skills or whatnot. Um, and, and that, that could be a lot of different things. And I know that, um, oh, when I was in grad school, I did something and I really enjoyed doing it. And one of my classmates said, ah, it's kind of crafty. And I was like, ah, see, now when you make assumptions <laughs> and I, as I said, I really liked doing it. It was like making flowers out of, um, Crepe, uh, uh, crepe paper? Is that right? Um, no, tissue paper. Um, I just thought they were so cool, and it was one of these things that I just like picked up and was like, oh, I want to use it in my artwork. And then to hear that it's just craftsy, like you know, crafty instead of like an expression of myself was kind of like, all right, well, thanks for your opinion. Uh, you could have asked if that was something that I usually do, and because. Um, I didn't at that point use too many 3D materials in my artwork and, um, you know, going outside of that was like a vulnerable place for me. It was a challenge for me. So, you know, like, how dare you come up and be like, hmm, hmm, you know, um, 
and you know, I think that it's perfectly fine because of the of the diversity of art therapy that we don't all get along. You know, I think underneath it all, we fully understand why we became art therapists and what art therapy is. Uh, but at the same time, we've all you know gotten our own definition. And um, so, I remember in grad school when we watched a video or something and it was a, this woman was like, oh, you know, like I have um, my clients and like, you know, we'll sit across from each other and I'll draw a picture of them and then I'll give it to them. Now, I would never do that in my therapy sessions at all. That is not some, no, mm -mm, not for me. Um, I think that for some people, for some clients that could either be a really cool thing and they'd be like oh my god this is amazing or they're gonna feel like crap because you have better skills than them and um, they don't feel like they're up to par so now if they're made to you know if, if you um, suggest that they do a piece of artwork they're gonna be ultra like on edge because I know that that's what I would feel you know at some point like oh I mm, that you know <laughs> that it that that same picture is not gonna come out of me um, and just feel like I you know like even more you know l having more lack of skills <laughs> um, sorry about the conundrum there um, just having a lack of skills you know like that would make me super self-conscious about my own skills um, and it's I, even though I do have my own artwork up in my office as you can tell um, like uh, actually if you, maybe you don't know that is a piece of my artwork um, that like I don't say all the time this is a piece of my artwork look at this artwork you know because I don't want my clients thinking that they have to make that that's that's something I do on the side and something I do outside of the office you know this is that's my own thing I have another piece and it sometimes comes up it sometimes doesn't but like it's a tree and people are like oh is that yours well technically <laughs> um, I added to a picture that I got from a thrift store because it needed just a little bit more to make it a more dynamic picture or painting. Um, so I added to someone else's painting. They don't know that I have this painting because they, you know, donated it to the thrift store. And so I'm like, you know, it's one of those things where I'm just like, I have the artwork in the office, I'm fine. Um, and I, you know, there was consideration about that before I put it up, so. Um, but I felt like, uh, I had talked to enough, enough therapists who also do art, who have their artwork up, that I thought that it would be fine. Um, if someone ever, you know, like, says, like, oh, I'm really intimidated, I'd be like, oh, Jesus, I, like, don't even, like, worry about doing something like mine, because, like, every piece of artwork I've ever seen from someone else throughout the art therapy program has been completely different even if we've had the same uh you know assignment so you know everyone's artwork's gonna be different um unless you're looking for like the hyper realism and you have that picture of tupac or you have that picture of marilyn monroe of course it's gonna look the same as everyone else doing that same technique um but you know if you aren't good <laughs> at art and it's coming out in your own way you know, and not being hyper-realistic, good on you. Awesome. Um, you know, those are kind of the, the things that happen sometimes. Um, all right, well, I hope this was informative, and I will update soon. All right.